Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us this Razer Huntsman V2 gaming keyboard. As Razer's latest iteration of this gaming favourite, the Huntsman V2 brings you closer to your game than ever before. With lightning fast response times, silent keystrokes and standout reactive RGB lighting, you can play with pure intuition to make the top ranks in competition when it matters most. Opening up the box, there's no fuss as the keyboard sits just inside the opening, ready to go. Just underneath, there's this completely luxurious magnetic cushioned wrist rest that fixes neatly to the bottom of the keyboard for a more comfortable experience when gaming. Now taking it into my hands, I can tell that this is a luxury item. A lot of thought has gone into making this not only comfortable to use, but also aesthetically pleasing to look at, and atmospherically right for a gamer's setup. Its multiple rubber feet keep it from sliding even on a smooth desk surface, and it's weighted just enough so it stays firmly in place. It's a full-size keyboard, measuring at around 450mm wide and 140mm deep. It's got two little feet on the bottom for raising it up with alternating heights to angle it slightly towards you if that's how you prefer, even clicking satisfyingly into place to stop them from collapsing at the most inconvenient time. In terms of materials, the keys are slightly textured for an added grip, while the main body has this aluminium top plate that really adds to that luxurious theme. It even has this tougher threaded cable in black that you just know will last longer through wear and tear, avoiding damage and potential faults over time. In the top right corner, I've noticed there are a few extra dials and buttons for an extra level of control. The play pause buttons worked great when playing movies and music, but the real star here is the digital dial that can be configured to alter everything from brightness to volume. I also love the super satisfying clicks that really let me feel the individual increments as I raise and lower the volume, which is great for just changing settings by touch alone. Powering it up, you get a glimpse of that wonderfully bright reactive RGB lighting under the keys. It is quite subtle in daylight, but once the lights go down, you really see the full impact these lights can make. One of my favourite features of Razer accessories though is the ability to completely customise. Using the Razer Chroma app, it's really easy to set your own colour scheme using the impressive range of options on offer here. Now, as I plug it into the computer, it asks to install the right software and get it set up with my control apps ready for me to begin customising it to my specifications. I'm using both the Razer Sign apps and Chroma to help customise the look and function here. As a serious gamer, you'd love to see the intricate amount of custom functions that you can apply to keep your most used actions close to hand. The interface is pretty self-explanatory and I do like the visual representation of each key as I customise it compared to just working off a list. As with the Death Adder mouse, you can enable hypershift mode here to give a secondary level of functions to each key depending on what you're using it for. As a gaming keyboard though, you can expect to find that it has a game mode to help avoid pressing any keys that might disrupt the game, like the Windows key for example. Though it can be toggled on and off on the keyboard itself using F9, indicated on the LED strip above the directional keys. The keys on this keyboard are Razer Double Shot PBT keycaps, which can be switched out and customised with different colours to better match your preferred colour scheme. As with most Razer kit, you can even customise it to match your other Razer tech, such as this Death Adder V2 wireless mouse, to completely make it your own. Now with most heavy duty gaming keyboards, I'm used to hearing a pretty aggressive clacking when rapidly pressing keys. Now this is where Razer have really worked their magic, by adding sound dampening foam that makes the keys practically silent, as you can hear in this demonstration. It's genuinely hard to come by in some keyboards, so that's one extra bonus to enjoy when adding this impressive accessory to your gaming setup. So these keys literally have every bit of next level engineering worked into it using optical switches as opposed to mechanical to give you perfect actuation with an impressive 8000 Hz polling rate for that insanely low input latency. The important part here is knowing how well it performs in game, so I tried out a few fast paced titles like Splitgate alongside some of your usual shooter games to get an idea on how well it performs compared to my usual setup. Honestly, I feel like I didn't press down so hard like I usually do. The reaction time was easily noticeable, I actually got the chance to shoot first in some instances because it was just that fraction of a second faster than my opponents. Of course, I'm still no better than I was yesterday when it comes to gameplay, but at least this time round I don't have to blame my equipment for letting me down. Alongside the super fluid motion of my Razer Death Adder V2, it's nice to have everything working in harmony to work with my first instincts, firing guns as soon as I need them to keep me around long enough to rank the top in my favourite games. Now I know this costs a little bit extra than what you usually expect to spend on a keyboard, but this is no average keyboard. 
It's a well-respected brand and it doesn't deviate from that image, with the quality being just as great or even better than its previous iteration. Of course, it would make sense to use this with other Razer tech to really unify your setup, but it does play nicely with other accessories too. As a luxury piece of equipment, you can never really go wrong when going all out, and as the keyboard is your most crucial tool to navigating your PC and gaming, it's a no-brainer when considering adding the Huntsman to your arsenal. So if you're serious about reaching the top spot in competition, or even just improving your casual stats, then this keyboard can work with your intuition to react as soon as you do, never letting your equipment hold you back. So what are your thoughts on this Razer Huntsman V2 gaming keyboard? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.